Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 23rd of 2021. Well, it is titled Harvest Moon Trail. So what do we see here? Well, this is a 22 minute exposure. So one photograph looking out in this case over a, a bridge in Rhode Island. And what we're seeing the big orange reddish orange uh, streak going across the sky is actually the moon as it rises. So with uh, focused on the land here, the sky will appear to move and things will appear to move through the sky. And in this case, the uh, the moon will appear to rise and it took about 22 minutes here. Now we notice a number of things. First of all, you can see the distinct change in color as very close to the horizon. It was very red, became more orange and more and more yellow as it got up higher above the horizon. Now this occurs because we're looking through the atmosphere and when we look through atmosphere we see far more of it when we look close to the horizon. Atmosphere is very good at scattering out blue light the shorter wavelength. So as we look very close to the horizon we see the moon rising or setting or the sun rising or setting. They appear very red not because anything has changed with the sun or the moon but simply because we are looking at them through more atmosphere so only the very longest wavelengths can make it through. As it gets higher in the sky, we're looking through less atmosphere and therefore it starts to become the distinct yellow and then a almost grayish white color when it gets very high in the atmosphere. Now this is also called the harvest moon. The harvest moon is the full moon that occurs closest to the September equinox. So the idea was that it was the moon that would give a lot of light in the evening when it was harvest time and to give extra time for the farmers uh, being able to harvest their crops. Now in this case it occurred on September 20th was the harvest moon and just a couple of days later on September 22nd that would have been yesterday we would have had the September or fall equinox. Now what the equinox is is when the sun passes across the celestial equator. So the sun's apparent path through the sky will go from south to north and back to south again over the course of a year. And it will cross the celestial equator twice once in the fall as it goes from south to north as we head from summer into winter. And then once again in the spring heading from south to north. So right now we are going from north to south and it is heading uh, further south of the equator and we will see that the days are getting shorter and shorter and the time and the, the, sorry, the temperature is getting cooler for those of us in the northern hemisphere. Of course seasons are opposite for the southern hemisphere so the first day of fall for the northern hemisphere is the first day of spring for the southern hemisphere and those in the summer, south, southern hemisphere are heading into summertime. So uh, the moon doesn't have anything to do with the seasons there that would be the sun. But the harvest moon is that moon closest to the equinox that occurs in September. So that was our pic picture of the day for September 23rd of 2021. It was titled Harvest Moon Trail. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be Perseid meteor outburst. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.